Well, I have no regrets about entering into it. I have regrets about not winning. <laughs> That's really what it's all about. <laughs> All that stood between Congressman Mike Castle and Joe Biden's old Delaware Senate seat was a little-known marketing consultant prone to making colorful comments. I dabbled into witchcraft. I hung around people who, who were doing these things. But then came the Tea Party, and in the state's GOP primary, Christine O'Donnell swept away Delaware's most popular Republican. A few months later, O'Donnell lost the general election. For Castle, it was a bitter pill. Roll Call asked the nine-term congressman and former governor to reflect on the election, O'Donnell, and his career on Capitol Hill. I don't know if bitterness is, is quite the right expression, but you think through what could have been done differently and what was said about you and, and whatever. And, you know, I do resent uh, a number of uh, positions that were taken by the, the Tea Party Express people in their advertising, by my uh, campaign uh, opponent uh, who became the nominee. Uh, as I indicated, uh, by uh, people like Rush Limbaugh and, and Sean Hannity and, and other national pundits uh, who took a very conservative uh, approach to all this and, and, and attacked me and, uh, and literally misrepresented uh, my position on, on a number of issues. I just don't think uh, she served the Republican Party well. I don't think she would uh, necessarily be a good candidate uh, for the future uh, in, in Delaware. So. We'll just have to see how all that comes out. Uh, I probably will not run for office again. Uh, that is not part of my future planning. Uh, but I have no uh, particular plans or commitments at this point. And, and you know, I'm just sort of uh, listening, and, and we'll see how it goes. So I, I feel that the political parties assert sometimes too much influence uh, in, in Washington. Uh, they talk about lobbyists, et, et cetera, but I, uh, I believe sometimes it's, it's the, the party ideological drive that, that's too strong. And so as a result, I would uh, say no at times, and uh, other times I would say no and, and try to bring other people with me. Sometimes I just did it on my own. I will be the first to tell you that I think it's going to be even tougher uh, with the new Congress, uh, with a very conservative group of Republicans uh, who've been elected uh, to the House uh, and a little bit to the Senate. And uh, for that reason, um, I don't know if it's going to be harder to get things done than it's been in the past or not, but it has that uh, appearance to it. Uh, my second term in office, I was approached by the Coin Collectors of America, and they said they wanted to do a program involving uh, the quarters in which uh, each state would be represented on the, on the quarters. And uh, I listened to them for about half an hour and said, look, this idea is crazy. This is monopoly money. Um, you know, uh, let's not pursue it. And they came back about a week later and they said, well, you know, we want to do this in the order in which the states came into the Union and Delaware would be first. And they said, in addition, this will make money because it costs about four cents uh, to make a quarter at that time. Uh, and they're sold by the uh, Federal Reserve for 25 cents. And because nobody's going to be turning these quarters in because they'll be collected, uh, you know, th this money will uh, will stay in, in circulation uh, indefinitely, make money for the, for the federal government, which it has. You know, I, I look forward uh, to, to the future as, as well, but you just go through this sort of sad phase, uh, and I, maybe particularly in my case, because I was hoping to serve for four more years in, in, in the Senate, and that opportunity uh, didn't arise. I, I would suppose if you decide to retire uh, on, on your own, uh, it would be uh, less sad, if, if you will. But uh, it's interesting. It's a uh, uh, it's a different experience. So that's uh, that's that's been uh, uh, something I hadn't thought about. Uh, and all of a sudden, it just hits you, and you, you know you got to deal with it. But uh, um, so that's that's a that's an unusual uh, sort of end uh, to to a way of life. <laughs>